But anyways, keep a look out for new videos. I might do Love is Blind next. I might do one of the Netflix shows. Who knows? <laughs> but if you want to see a specific show, put it down in the comments below. Most likes I'll do it. Guaranteed. I'm Nick Lachey. I am Vanessa Lachey. In your relationships, one partner is ready to get married and the other isn't quite as sure. An ultimatum. But what's up, squad? We back at it with another... Oh, wait. Not another 90... 90 day DLC. Oh, we're doing a new show. <laughs> Hooray, hooray, cheers to that. Bing. Now the show's called Ultimatum, and the premise of the show is just fucking wild. <laughs> like who the F came up with this? No, seriously. So the show grabs like a handful of young adult couples, you know, just plucking them up, bop, 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 who are for whatever reason in disagreement about marriage, which stresses me the F out, bro. <laughs> Cause I'm like their age, and I'm out here struggling to find somebody. Somebody to love. <laughs> Anyway, so the show's hoping to flip-flop these guys for like three weeks, on flip flopping for like three weeks, chop it all up as perspective. At the end of the week, you'll each choose a new partner. Then, you're gonna go through exactly the same experience with the person you arrived here with. And hopefully by the end of the show, they can somehow, some way, magically, abracadabra, with a sprinkle of salt, decide whether or not they want to get married to the initial spouse or not. Yeah, fucking wild! And the science and logic behind this show is all so very simple, actually. Nothing! <laughs> like, there's absolutely no reason for any of this. Like, all y'all need therapy and counseling. I'm not sitting here with Nick Lachey, bumping up Netflix ratings. Like, this is all for pure entertainment. Our entertainment. And my faith in humanity, precipiously, since I started the show. But nonetheless, here we are, here you are, to watch me take bullets in a can you empty shells, aka the breakdown. Was that good? <laughs> So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Each of you are compatible with multiple different partners and psychologists agree an ultimatum is not a good way to get somebody else to do what you want, but it is the best way to get you the answers you need on a timetable you can live with. I like that. That's the whole point anyone from the other couples it might turn out to be exactly what you're looking for now i like how on every show it's always like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to, to do what <laughs> no seriously to do what like let's all try to be swingers for like three weeks and f up our life forever <laughs> like what are we talking about here <laughs> <laughs> Now maybe I'm slow to the race, but but I see a lot of one, two, two and a half year relationships. Like, why the hell are we all talking about marriage? Like, y'all barely just got out the honeymoon phase. Okay, that's fair. See, this is why divorce rates be wildin' late. We got a whole bunch of young kids making grown-up decisions. But, okay. Like this man right here, Randall. Man, that's a three-year-old with a beard, <laughs> and nobody gonna tell me otherwise. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some name on some faces cause we all need to be on the same page here. Starting off with Alexis and Hunter. Uh, Hunter, be a boring dude. <laughs> Just a boring dude. A little too simpish for my taste, but you know, overall, a stoic. Do you have a wild side? <laughs> of course I have a wild yeah. side. I like sci-fi books. Yeah. Boring! Just a boring dude. And Alexis, uh, kinda opposite of that. If Hunter wasn't making enough money that was reasonable, I would walk away. What? Always doing the most for some odd reason. And for some odd reason, uh, reminds me of Handsome Squidward. <laughs> Next we have Kobe and Madeline. Oh lord. <laughs> Madeline certified 304. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. You know, just thirsty. I think it's toxic, but I'm excited. Fuck. <laughs> now I don't know who Maddie's plug is, but he making Maddie cha-ching, I mean. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> but anyways, a little too thirsty to, to be in any monogamous committed relationship. As for Kobe, there's something off putting about him. Can't really put my finger on it, but but you know, he's a little theatrical in his own little world. Gives off the whole pick me boy vibes. I am worth her whole heart. Every news I get, I wanna share it with you. Every thought is going to be tough. It's gonna be tough. <sighs> I have to get this experiment my all. Yo, somebody go get this man an Oscar. Like, we're on a TV dating show, my guy. Man, I delay about to get banned to the shadow realm. Goodbye, father, mother, little brother, Moguba. Every da 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 Boy, if you don't get the fuck. <laughs> it is not that deep, my boy. Moving on, man. <laughs> Then we got Shanique and Randall. Not too, too much to say about Shanique yet. Maybe says she wants to be married like Vaminos. I am ready to get married. I don't think that I can be with someone who is not thinking about marriage in, in the same way that I am. As for Randall, the man's Tom Brady like He's trying to play the field, but he's not too, too sure. So he's kind of just dragging this all out. I think I want to like sit, sit beside yeah. you. Like, Come on. <laughs> make this more of a, a comfortable conversation, oh right? God. I can see myself having a future with Madeline. See, this why I wasn't buying any of his BS excuses about why he didn't want to get married. I don't know. I felt like I, I was pressured into marriage. So I kind of put that as an excuse. Like money is the thing that's holding me back. When in reality, it's probably just me. But anyways, moving on to April and Jake. Uh, April's a bit of an emotional roller coaster. She's a little up and down. But overall, you know, she keeps it a buck. Looks hella familiar though. Turns out she reminds me of a Sid's sister from Toy Story. But at 23, she wants kids and marriage, like ASAP, ASAP Rocky. They're so innocent. They're just innocent little lovely little creatures on this planet. Right. I love them and I want them. I make jokes all the time like, I'm gonna be a stay home mom. I can't wait to be a stay home mom. Single, That's married, huge. dating, I want to be a mom. And as for Jake, uh, I don't know, man. Looks like every default 2K <laughs> character. He's a bit of a pushover. It's like, why are you an asshole to me all the time? I'm and you stressed. get mad at me. Well, then why? When do you look at what I oh want? Never have you asked what I want. Not once have you asked what I want. I keep a lot of shit in. Yeah, you do, Jake. That's why you're full of it. Like, maybe this whole issue about what Jakey wants probably should have been clearly communicated sometime within the, uh, I don't know, two years you guys been dating? <laughs> like, this man literally, same day, just found somebody he connected with, not named April. I think it. Went pretty damn well. And now he feeling some type of way. He feeling the power. Start wilding out, playing victim. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Light skin activities. Honestly, he probably doesn't even know what he wants. Thus, marriage kids in April scares the living dog shit out of him. Moving on to Lauren and Nate. Nate, mm, probably the most annoying dude on the show. We'll find out why. More to come on him and learn. Ooh. <laughs> she bad. She's kind of like my type visually. You know, super chill. But she don't think she want kids. And I do. I know. So, uh, yeah, that might be a problem. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. And Nate does? <laughs> yeah, who gives a fuck? And last but not least, we have Ray and Zay. Ray's a little odd, to say the least. Gives off the whole, I love you, but I'm not in love with you vibes. Got along with old Jakey hella fast, too. Can't even answer why she loves Zay. Like, that's a red flag. Can you explain why you love Zay? I don't know. Can we skip that question and come back to it, or is that the last one? What the hell? Can I say fuck? And Zay, you know, he's soft-spoken, flirty witty. Seems like a surface level kind of guy, you know, like no depth, if you know what I mean. You're trying to make it work with me. Right. I'm leaving. What? Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know, I feel like I want to know more about, like, how you, like, you show me, like, love. I just, if I don't leave here with you, like, just lose everything I've been. What? It's kind of hard to understand like things just that i i didn't understand bro what are you talking about man yeah i have no clue what this man just said he spoke hieroglyphics you show me like love i just but uh, yeah no real opinion on him yet but i'm only like two episodes in so i'm kind of just reacting as i go that's that makes perfect sense but with that being said, as you can tell, the couple said to like split up and go through this little speed dating trial simulation, whatever it was for like a week. Uh, some matched up quick, some did not. To whatever man's out there, good luck. Jesus Christ. Then you have their spouse doing the exact same thing uh, within a small radius. So you can kind of see how drama just starts popping off. <laughs> <laughs> what guy has your, most of y'all's attention right now? Oh God, I would say... I would say Kobe. All right. I'm ready to drink. Randall. Randall? Okay. Just me and you. Hello. Hey. 
Let's I've go. been waiting to talk to you one-on-one -on -one all night. <laughs> all right. But I think that icebreaker definitely helped me understand a little bit more. Yeah. What did you think about my answer? I can't see a future. <laughs> so the only thing we really found out through two episodes is that old squiddy can handle rejection, bruh. <laughs> like, girl, take the L and keep it pushing. Like, this woman literally had amnesia mid-episode and had to be told no, like, 20 times. I'm not attracted to you. That's your reasoning why you don't see a future with me? Lies. What? Lip service. Bullshit. I'm not really believing that story from you. I feel like that's what I said last night, though. When no did we have this conversation? Last night. What did you think about my answer? I can't see a future. Now, keep in mind, as we approach the end of the episode slash dating week, and each person had to start making their choice. The only way you could pair up with somebody within the experiment is if you chose them and they chose you back. And if you choose someone who also chooses you, then you guys will move in together as a new couple. So with that being said, who do you think is the only other person who didn't get chosen and couldn't handle the rejection? Spoiler alert. It's oh, Doug on Nate, bruh. <laughs> oh my God. This man done ruined the show for me. Nate. It is now time to make a decision. Um, I had Shanique as my choice. Shanique? I choose say. Are you kidding me? Nate, I see you over there fidgeting. April and me are probably the closest to being like identical people. April, are you ready to make your choice? I choose Hunter. I'm not trying to do anyone up, but what the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> Will you marry me? Don't do it, bro. Nate, don't do it. Oh my god. Yo, somebody kick this man off the show, bro. What are you doing? It's the ultimatum. What are you doing, bro? We only had Lauren for two episodes, man. He done ruined this show. Lauren? Will you please marry me? Cause no one else wants me. Oh, doggone Nate, bro. This man, Nate done ruined the show for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the ultimatum. Uh, it's a good show. The only problem I really have with it is like everyone else who paired up thinks they found someone better. But like you're comparing the honeymoon phase of like this new person to like someone you've been with for like one or two years. Like the poo poo on the new person hasn't been out yet. Like it's not a fair analysis. You know what I mean? With that being said, uh, apologies on this late video. I was sick for like five to seven days. I lost my voice for like nearly a week. I think midway through the video, you might hear like a raspy ass voice or something like that. That was me like barely recovering. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm glad I got this out. Part two of the ultimatum coming in a couple weeks 90 day fiance love in paradise coming up next what else what else oh watch the ending for a surprise announcement with that being said like comment subscribe to this video share this video please please share this video like it's a new show i'm gonna get crappy views uh share to ig tag me and i'm gonna repost your story i think that's it though your boy's logging off i'll catch you guys next time Mwah. oh sh but hey what do i know I'm just sipping like one rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four. All these bodies in my closet, I know that most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at the age of 19. Make a motherfucker think that my idols, my rivals, and I never lose. So my idols get slotted, they're thrown in the trenches. I snipe from a distance like boom, pow. I reload and I empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker with a lick in his bio, like single day, my own. What is going on with today's relationship? Why is it such an issue? Yo, that's tough, man. It's a lot. I'm trying to figure out, especially how people are making it work. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm making my living. Is 90 Day Fiance? It doesn't work. Uh, any, whoa, anybody whoa, will take whoa, it. Whoa, huh? What? Hey, I thought you said as long as you act upon it. I was oh, like, whoa, I whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> but wait, as long as you act upon. <laughs> <laughs>